is rare prepare a new age mantra and welcome to power circle the platform where we speak to artists creatives entrepreneurs business people and community i'm your host balamau power and joining me at the black table my deadly brother carl forma thank you for being on my program brother thank you for the welcome my my brother patrick yes it's an honor to be here man we we'll, we'll, there's a lot we're going to talk about but before we do cultural way if i can get you to um, introduce you when you mob Um, yes. so people can understand the connection especially from where we're broadcasting yeah mm-hmm. we're um Gimui uh mm-hmm. this land uh for our first episode so my wow. brother I yes. want you to do if you can introduce yourself well, first of all congratulations to as well and 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 it's a honor and a privilege to be here uh my name is Carl uh from the Four Mile family from from this area uh and 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 that name it 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 um it comes from uh our family being four miles out of out of town out of Cairns where the first post office oh, was wow. uh so uh, i'm a part of the yidinji nation uh walopara is is my clan and marun is my real name or my my yidin name my my indigenous or or aboriginal name uh, marun it uh means the the the, the grey cloud or the black cloud the cloud that brings the rain and um and 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 here i am today speaking with uh a wonderful uh bala you you my brother it's uh uh it's 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 an occasion that that uh, that that is 
that I've been excited about for 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 many na- days now, ever since you 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 brought it up. So so thank you. No, that's so that's all for being on the program. Yep. Now we're gonna go in and dive deep. Now I can explain to all the listeners out there that this platform, what we wanted to do was um, offer a space where we can come and yarn and talk about the things that um, are positive in our world, our stories, mm-hmm. celebrate people such as yourself um, who have done great stuff within community. I mean, we come from community background, so everything mm-hmm. we do is for community. Yes. Uh, so the idea was always on the journey to have a space to yarn like that and we thought mm-hmm. well podcast would be the best place of podcast mm-hmm. and open up the platform and when i did that i'm like well the first person i got to get on is balakal <laughs> come and have a yarn oh, but yeah. let's get into it but i want to talk from this i know a lot of people mm-hmm. get value um, out of this mm-hmm. um the journey we've been on now you 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 are a cultural practitioner someone who's strong in culture and in community um, and we can come and talk into how that plays in um, the role of your business today. Mm-hmm. But before that, the journey of, um, of a young Carl coming through, uh, mm-hmm. the relationship with culture and you know, growing up with community. Can you give us a bit of background about that one? Because I know yeah. that a lot of our people are going to be watching out there are still in community. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Me, the whole journey through life is an attitude to who I am now and, and where I'm at now. Uh, you know, I've lived my life all down the East Coast, all the way down to, to Adelaide. Uh, you know, my, my young days were spent down in Adelaide. Uh, my, my, my mother, Enrietta uh, Mary, she met uh, uh, this wonderful man uh, mm. from uh, Maori South Australia. And so I done some early years of uh, schooling uh, down in Adelaide, and and w- one of the things I do remember because uh, uh, Dad or Adrian uh, Dugurja is is the name we given him because he's, he's he's part of our family now, you know. Uh, yes. Uh, and and, um, and he was heavily involved with uh, Pindara people from South Australia. Mm-hmm. So, although I wasn't on country, it was a connection to the the spirit that is running deep within this country. Mm-hmm. Um, and and those young days were, were full of culture. Seeing the ochres that have come from the Pindara people. Uh, also, I can remember a time when uh, Adelaide had their first uh, Grand Prix, mm. uh, and and uh, uh, Ate uh, Edric Tabuai and the yes. family, yes, they came down and they, they stayed with us because they had to perform at at the Grand Prix, Ooh, and and this was such a powerful moment, um, you know, because um, coming from Mulariji country or, or Mariba. Yeah, and then, and then uh, you know, living down in Adelaide uh, with mom and dad, and and seeing uh, Ate Edric uh, Tabuai and the family, Uncle Aroma, mm. uh, Auntie Helen, yep. uh, you know, I- Uncle Uncle Edric, um, just to see how that system and the unified family network works on that cultural level, delivering something as great and as special as culture yes. through dance. I think this probably was one of my first moments of awe, you know, you know for me. Um, you know, I was, I was uh, five or six at the time. Yes. Uh, and to, to see how you you know the 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 zazis were being prepared and, and the 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 armors yes. were, were 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 looked after yes and and they all stored in a certain way and everything had its 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 own special moment and and they were treated like diamonds and pearls yes like like jewelry and and they were wrapped up and and stored um, you know before and after a performance and just seeing that really 
showed me how much to value culture and cultural preservation. Yes. Uh, I remember my 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 favorite dance was uh, uh, the the uh, kuyam dance, mm. uh, where, where the where the uh, the big spears were bent and then let go, and they had they had uh, kulaps yes. attached, and they would shake, uh, and the bow dance yes. uh, that just amazed people, you know. Uh, it it um, that team that uh, Ate Edric had was just magnificent. And it set the level for me of how to present culture. Mm. So, you know, and, and I've, I've grown up through Brisbane and, 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 and been on other people's country down there. Um, you know, I can remember uh, when I was at boarding school at uh, TKIS in the Crowland Valley, yes. and, and I was a boarder there. I, I didn't know anybody. There was uh, limited students in, in that school. Uh, but one of the people that that was there was uh, Norman Freeman and uh, oh, and, yeah. and Kathy Freeman. Yeah, yeah. So this this is before uh, she was she was famous, right? So yes. uh, so I, I see her as a big sister, and uh, we, we used to train together. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, you know. I should train with the crew, and she had a more personalized uh, training regime yes. with, with her with her coach, and 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 she and Norman Freeman, th they were another influence on on uh, on on me and, and 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 my life and what it does for the next generation or the youth to see. Black people, indigenous people, yes. Pursuing their vision and making moves and and making steps towards the future. Yes. Uh, with, without seeing that, I would have just seen Kathy Freeman, the runner, on TV, Olympics, Commonwealth Games, and that was it. But because I've seen some of the journey, yes. and, and only just a small part, uh, yes. I must add, you know. Uh, uh, for me, that was it was an insight to how a person can grow and how influences at a at a young age uh, it provides the foundation and platform. You know, I, I think I've been very lucky to meet people. Um, you know, uh, you know, like. Uh, David Gulpu little when I was yeah, small, wow. yeah. and he, he come home up Mariba and he made the the dance belts with the feathers and yeah. and and them kind of thing, and then he took me into the backyard and all, all us kids actually, yes. you know, Trevor, Jerry, Greg, we were very small at at, at that time, and he and he, he taught us the the the, the dance of the bralga, mm -hmm. and 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 so. I look back on it now in hindsight, and I, I think uh, I think you know these actions and and, and and these sort of highlights, they they must have been planned. Absolutely, they must have been planned by 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 the greater being, the the, the creator. You know, um, Kevin Gilbert is another person, an indigenous uh, poet with amazing ma amazing words. Mm. Um, you know, I went down to his farm where him and his uh, his wife and and his his, his, his uh, young one stayed, and and in these massive flying fox on the property. Okay. <laughs> and and you know and and uh, just just these times looking back, they were they were really really uh, resourceful, and 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 it's like an energy source. Yes. That that I can uh, count on. Uh, or, or, or pull from when times get tough or uh, the road is hard. You know, I, I think back to some of these memories. Yes. And, yeah. and of, 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 of people of, of influence. Um, and and you need it's, that, right? it's a, a great source, a great source. You know, that's you know. great that you can share that. I mean, that's what you, you know. need. Foundations are more, very important. Like you know. the root, connection back to the root. 
it, it instills something uh, with mm. you that becomes the gems now that you carry. And then what yes, happens yes. is you become that mentor and then you pass it back. Yes, and, you know, when yes. we talk about taking it back to the foundation, for open up this pod, like, you know, this, this program, yeah, Power Circle, mm-hmm. we did something, I think, really unique. We engaged, because we're in Bimoy country, yeah? Mm-hmm. Uh, we engage with you to um, if we can open this aspect properly, and you performed uh, mm-hmm. the ceremony. Welcome to country. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's any other program, podcast, vodcast, that ever done that. Mm-hmm. Um, I mm-hmm. could be wrong. I mean, mm-hmm. people can comment on it, but f- to have that as a special moment and have you as as the first guest made sense because mm-hmm. we're recording on country here now, so we must um, mm-hmm. always abide by that law. Um, sure, yeah. Can you share? To a people watching, probably somebody overseas who has no idea of um, one how to engage with the the First Nations people, but two mm-hmm. these 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 rituals and ceremonies, how important it mm-hmm. is um, for our people. Yeah, so uh, you know the the process of um, bilangatan, or for somebody to to enter into. A space or, or onto country is is a practice that that uh, our people uh, and indigenous peoples have been doing for 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 many years uh, for generations even you know so that process is is a proper way of invitation uh, a a proper way of making the circle one making somebody feel invited, making that person or group feel part of not just a, a family, but a system, a cultural system. Mm. It's not only that, it, it also extends to uh, being a part of, of the spirit that comes from that particular area or country. Um, so that's what it's about. It's about... in enticing and and forming that bond with that individual or that group of people through Bilangatan or welcome to country or connection to country mm-hmm. uh, how, however we may, may may word it it it's it's about forming that bond physically through community uh, spiritually also because the land holds energy and 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 spirit still uh, just just like the sun does mm. and and I, I believe this this energy needs connection through Bilan Katan or through the welcome to country connection to country in order for that person to undergo the next step of understanding of of, of learning about the people or the, or, or, or the culture and it's 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 only uh, a, a rightful way that that we carry this on um, you know e- even through uh, technology mm. these days you know we still have to keep these essence of culture uh, growing and, yes. and and alive so so for me, welcome to country is about oneness. Yes. Is about the first step to initiate a journey. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Thank you, brother, for sharing that. And you, we will move. We we're talking about the, you know, your history, your foundations, the journey, the mentor, and mentors, and your cultural practices, which formulate the basis of what you do today. I mean, Minjo, yeah. um, which yeah. I, we will talk a bit about, because uh, I love the story behind the name and, um, mm-hmm. you know, how that came about. Uh, but you do a lot of these cultural practices and um, education, because you mm-hmm. spoke about education, how important it is to be educated so we yeah. can have a, a com- mm-hmm. conversation with a commonplace. But tell us about Minjo, how that from become about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so you know, Minjo is a Yidin word. is uh, from... Uh, our, our 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 nation and uh, minjil uh, m i n j i l it's it's a word that means spark mm. so those small sparks that 
come from uh, the fire, when you look at a fire at, 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 at night time, and you see those small uh, embers shoot up into the sky, um, this is, is, is the meaning of, of, of Minjo. Yes. And, and I, I thought, you know, I, I, I thought that it would be a good name, you know, to, to put into the business world. Yes. Just based on the values and the story behind it, because because something with story, we know it, 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 it has value and it, it has, 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 has character and, and oomph. And, um, and I've, I've Hidden learned... Hidden gems and meaning and all uh, yes. the knowledge. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, so, and, um, and so I, I thought about it and I thought we, we were just a small spark mm. individually. Mm. And I, I'm just a small spark, just a, a small part of, of you know, coming from the big fire. Yes. And the fire for me, if I am the, the minjil, if I am the spark and I come from the fire, the, you know, the fire must be our ancestors, our community structure and systems, our, our culture and spiritual uh, backgrounds and, and beliefs. So, yeah. so that's where the name comes from. And, and we share and connect people with uh, culture. And yes. True and authentic culture that's uh, forever evolving to this day. Oh. Deliver, and that's powerful when you put it in that. You know, our culture metaphorical. When you see yeah. something, and the best way yes. we can explain it mm. um, is to use it in metaphors. And I know you're big on education and you know, breathing that spark, that fire, um, as you've seen in the performances that, that, mm. that um, ceremony mm. that you performed before this mm. one, yeah? Mm. Um, you had them two young, young fellows with you. Uh, yeah. And you do a lot of stuff in with the education, with education, you know, not only for the people mm -hmm. coming into this um, country, but also here, growing up here, kids in schools. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So tell us a bit about that. What what is it that you do there, and um, why is that important? It's important to me because it's it, it, it's a way to share culture. I, I'm only one individual, so I can only do so much. So by yes. educating and teaching other people or, 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 or to the masses, to the education uh, or through the education system, it's, there's an audience right there that's already mm. set up. So that's why I love teaching through the education system and, and, and teaching our young uh, brothers that have come up, uh, such as uh, Bala Ultras and, yep. and, and young Jeffrey there. Because yep. um, uh, it's building that sense of platform and, and foundation for them also through culture. And, and this is, is one of the big things for me is, is to, is to uh, give our youth, give our next generation a platform to build on. And, and what better way, you know, to, 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 to found oneself is, is through their culture. Yes, and, absolutely. Uh, yeah, the, and I, I think also, it's not just because I love sharing the culture and, and it's because uh, it's, 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 it's what I uh, continue to learn about. And, and, and uh, it's because I believe that it's very important for Australia as a holistic approach, the general, Mm. It's very important for Australia and the non-Indigenous people to be able to understand yes. and connect uh, and be a part of uh, the cultures of this great land. It's 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 a hundred percent correct that these things have to be done to take our country into the next millennia. Absolutely. We have come 250 years from, uh, you, you know, in this journey of, of being a multicultural society, or, although, you know, Australia was uh, international, doing yes. international trade. Absolutely. Before then, 15, 2000, how many years ago? Yeah. But, but, but in this day and age, in this sort of context, uh, it's 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 important. It's it's important is not the word. It's it's crucial that these steps are taken for culture to be provided within the education system, mm -hmm. so the kids will 
benefit. Yeah. Absolutely, and that's, that's what it is. I think with people like us and the ones that in our field work, you get to a point in life you understand that your identity, your makeup, your being, your values is stem from the root of culture, which is yeah. something that's yeah. eighty thousand years. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's, yeah. so it's been around longer. Like just it's, it's when we say up in the islands, time yeah. memorial, mm-hmm. we talk about long time, yeah. long time yeah. before structured yeah. systems of the Westminster system. Mm-hmm. Now this. When you remove and separate, from my view, this is my view, remove and separate someone from the culture or they lose mm. that identity, mm. then their sense of being is lost. Mm. They can walk mm. a path of lost, you know, and you see mm. a lot of that happen to young people. But once you know, like mm. the way when we introduce ourselves, where we come from is because we find connection to place and yeah. we can travel yeah. anywhere knowing mm. where we can go back. And then when they're young, for you the same thing, you can connect the dots back and say, okay, our lines yeah. walk through this way, yeah. through yeah. storyline. And it's important, complex, Mm-hmm. And very important that, you know, as a multicultural society and nation, mm-hmm. I believe that we have those conversations. Mm-hmm. I remember through conversations with um, when we have uh, the things like Kayaf, Kansas Indigenous yes. Arts Fair. When we were doing performances, the, mm-hmm. the feedback after a study came back or mm-hmm. they did like a, a consultation. And mm-hmm. what we found is when they co- um, were talking to people who were engaging outside of the culture, like we're talking about uh, people from other nationalities who were engaging mm-hmm. with the culture, they wanted to participate but felt that because mm. we didn't have that communication mm. that it might be disrespectful or they can't engage fully to to the the way the level that you mm. know it's inviting i think it goes back to conversation and we have mm. that all the time when we yeah. talk to um you know establishments and you know when mm. we do things in our world of our business and tourism creative arts mm-hmm. um what are the challenges you you find um, in that journey with, for yourself, like, you know, one, trying to get uh, an understanding of the importance of culture to people who don't understand it, mm-hmm. and two, um, bringing your practices as a business into the world, like into, into the, this place, the area, the, the market that we're in. Yeah. Yeah, there's, 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 there's a, 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 a lot more engagement needed with the actual learning Mm. Of, uh, uh, of, of of businesses and institutions that work alongside or with indigenous people, no doubt, yes. no doubt that there is something missing there, mm. and that only starts with education uh, and, and 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 cultural awareness. Yes, uh, yeah, the, a, a number of times, you know, uh, I've encountered that if only these people that I am dealing with, if only they were educated. Mm. on the basics even of how to engage and, and, and what it is uh, and how we should move forward mm. it's all a part of, of, of understanding um, so through Minjil uh, that's, that's what we offer we offer that, that true connection and that, that true understanding and, and, and in some cases Act as a, a, a Q and A hub okay, for for nice. businesses and uh, establishments that that want to just ring up and ask a question. It's good uh, to know of, that of, where of, people can yeah help. yeah of, of how to find people in the community. Yes, uh, because it, it's it's not that they don't want to contact or engage with the indigenous community. Yes, um, it's it's that there's there needs to be implemented uh, systems that are put in place to uh to 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 uh reach to yeah. the community it's the how to uh, get there it's the how to get yeah. there it's the how yeah. to get there that i find I found that uh, too. A, 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 a lot of trouble that that uh non indigenous people or or institutions and and businesses have yes is that is not quite uh clear and not quite uh provided uh w- w- within within the, the the structures that we have uh through business at the moment well hopefully um, through conversation and what you do um, we can rectify that now that we know yes. and this is going to go out there that people can call you and talk to you ask questions especially if they're this area um i've, I've experienced that as well you know yeah. i could be anywhere around and people mm-hmm. call away pat mm-hmm. um, who do i speak to or how do i get to do this and then you go through the process yes it's kind of when you explain it it gets daunting <laughs> for people yeah yeah <laughs> what yeah. you yeah. is the process yes um, yes I want to touch on business because this is a favorite subject that you and I always yes, have. Yes, I get excited yes. about that. But first, I, I ask a question. 
You you performed in the the Olympic Games, yeah? I was I was down there a part of it. Yes. Okay. Uh, we 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 stayed just across the road. I forgot this. Uh, this was 2000. This, um, 2000 when when you were there performing. No, no, I was I two, oh. 2018. I oh, did okay. the Commonwealth Games. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. But yes, um, yes. I think that one, uh, Christina, Christina, they were from performing that one. Yes. The 2000 yes. Olympics, which was massive. So tell us, yep. tell us that experience, and how did you get there? Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 no. I only, I only, I only become what you. There at the at the uh, uh, Commonwealth Games. Oh, you were there at the yeah. Commonwealth Games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes, okay, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. That was that was that was fun. You, were you a part yeah. of something at Commonwealth Games? Uh, I was part of the rap groups that were. Uh, That's right. That were brought from across the country. We did down connect, down. Didn't yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Was yeah, that yeah, 2018? Yeah, yeah. So there was a contingency from from indigenous peoples all over yeah. the world. Yeah. yeah. And that, and then met uh, down on the Gold Coast. And then got to see you. Dream World, did, did, did you do that? that yeah. Dream World, that's right. Yeah. That's what we yeah. said. That was yeah. a really yeah. great delegation with all yeah. the um, yeah. groups to yeah. come in there. Yeah, thank you for whoever put on the uh, the, the mai yeah. there, the kai kai there, because that was lovely. That was, um, I the think they went all out and had a uh, cup murray and cup everything. Cup murray from the Bowie family, they're down. Yes, that's yes. Right. yeah, thank you, the Bowie, Bowie family. Bowie yeah. family, they're from they yeah. it and they do that experience in um, yeah. uh, Dream World. So, yeah, but yeah. it was good. It was a great evening. Oh, that was fantastic. I, <laughs> Too much a, food. A, a, a lot of food, a lot of fun. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, my brother. Business. Let's get into that. Okay, we're yes. into the world of business. First, yeah. I'll start off with um, the challenges. What is the challenges yeah. being? You know. I, would, I, I don't want to box it into indigenous business, but just the challenges yeah. of being a business starting up um, and yeah. the things that you faced to try and overcome. Because I know there's young people mm -hmm. out there who can see uh, potential in becoming an entrepreneur or becoming mm -hmm. a business or taking what they love in culture or arts or, and try mm -hmm. to make mm -hmm. um, something out of that for themselves. Yeah, I, 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 I think the main challenge is myself. Mm. Is 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 finding the energy and the spirit and the motivation it comes from oneself. Yeah. Um, and in the business world, for me, I've learned that it's a, it's a living system. Yes. It it's actually. Uh, uh, a living system of course there's synthetic you know parts of it but you know uh, going to some of uh, you know some of the the, the, the talks um, mm. learning about ecosystems yeah in the business um, and 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 how business grow yeah and 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 how they survive these are all words that can be used mm out you know in, in in the natural environment too i was going to ask the question when you grow something yeah planting seeds is used in business talk a, a lot too as well you know that's also biblical too as well um yeah but it's it's based and what i love about business now is that it's based on the natural too as well yes because uh, as much energy as you put into something as much will come out as the outcome yes and you know if if, if we if we if, if i don't find uh, the need or the motivation to get up and and uh and water uh the the plant or the seed that i've uh, I've, I've, I've sown it just doesn't grow it's yeah. it's not it's not just it's the universal law of nature man. yeah it's, it's not just a, a, ma a matter of planting a seed Mm. Uh, which, which is, you know, uh, is is a thought, and that's, you know, it's, uh, you can you can plant seeds that way. But um, uh, the, the business world is is something that's uh, growing around me and, and 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 growing within me and and, and uh, on me too as well. I love being a part of it. I love learning. Uh, the conversation that you and I had the other day yeah. was, was so helpful uh, uh, about uh, about business and 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 talking. Talking, uh, you know, the business language. Yes, it's so important um, it for is. our next generation to get involved with and, and and start having these conversations about money, about business. Uh, yes, and because 
uh, I've learned along the way that businesses are, are all subject to um, systems within the business. Yeah, absolutely. And well, when I thought about it, I thought, look, how indigenous peoples have had systems for thousands of years uh, to run this yeah. Company, this this great land, this yes. uh, the seas and the ocean and, and and the animals around it, they all evolved and 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 provided from systems, mm. cultural systems. And I thought, well, it's we've been doing it for a long time. We're the perfect business people, aren't we? We, we, we are. Transfer that thought, that's and the, the context. Word. Onto oh, the well, business platform. That that yeah. that's what the journey I I yeah. um my first business I was eleven, yeah. pay fishing industry. I was I'm a son mm. of a fisherman, so we were in that industry, and I learned everything as a sole trader. You know that we came into that mm. diving products, demand, uh, the supply demand, all of that stuff. But I never know what it was. Um, you know when you when I went into creative arts, I created the business. Mm -hmm. um, which known now as One Blood Hidden Image. Mm -hmm. um, everything that I knew from the fishing industry, I transferred over. I'm wow. like, oh, yeah. this is like, this is how we go out when you're diving. Mm -hmm. That's the opportunity is now. When you grab mm -hmm. the product, how you take care of it, that's how you grow it. Mm -hmm. And when I saw all that transfers over, I look at the life of a fisherman. I say, man, we are mechanics. We are first aid people. We mm -hmm. are rangers. Mm -hmm. You know, we're skippers. We are divers. I'm like, you mm -hmm. have to be multitasking everything. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the first first start, I, I don't know if this was your experience. When you started this business, it was a one man army thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you did yeah. everything. <laughs> everything, everything, uh, everything, <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, I was. Uh, very hands-on, wanting to get everything done myself, um, you know, um, uh, yeah, so, so I was, 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 uh, but it, it, and it's a learning, of course, stage two, it was for me to, to, to be, to be in the business and, um, you know, and, 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 and working from, from, from within it. Uh, rather than on the business or outside the business, which is yes. which is what I'm trying to concentrate on now. But that that, that that's a journey I think that Absolutely. everybody uh, should go through anyway. Uh, you know, is is is, is learning where, uh, where 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 your 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 niches lie and yeah. where your, your the, the power and focus should be. Uh, and, and it goes back to understanding yourself, like you said. You know. Um, Knowing yourself, because the business is only as strong as its leader, right, or its creator. Yes. Yeah. Uh, when you don't work on the business, you keep on in the business. That you got there's yeah. so much phases we could go back. Yeah. But what is it that you do when you feel the need that you have to find source of uh, empowerment or inspiration or motivation? Like is this because I know mm -hmm. from the journey, there's times where you're like, ah, what am I doing here? Yes. You know, yes. ah, this again. <laughs> But yeah. where, where do you go? What yeah. do you do to be able to get that source of that motivation or that push you need? For me, it's about the the, the gratitude and attitude, uh, you know, uh, uh, thing. And 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 what I do is very simple. I'll, I'll light a uh, I'll, I'll light a fire and 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 sit around that fire mm. for 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 hours, even if I have the time to. You know, to yeah. to to just position myself and in the right frame of mind, in the right headspace. Mm. Lighting that fire really does does help me. It, it really, it really does. Because um, uh, there's so many dis distractions mm. in in the world, um, and there's. And there's so many things to do on a on a day-to-day -day, uh, life that that taking that time out for oneself or for myself is is very important, and that helps me to to recharge and recenter and refocus. So, so that's what I do. I I I'll, I'll light a fire and 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 good. sit around that fire in in the, in the backyard even, just looking at the sky and looking and staring back into the flames. Too and, deadly. And watching the smoke wisps come through the air, and and you know hearing the crackles, and you know smelling the wood burning, and and uh, it's something it's, it's it's actually something that I really enjoy. So mm. so um, 
so that that's that's how I sort of take time out and and, and relax yeah from yeah. too good yeah. Mine is jumping in a dinghy and going out to sea. Yo, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yes, just go yes. out and chill out. You're disconnected from everything. Exactly. Some people go on holidays and yeah. go to Bali to, to readjust. Me, and find me on the phone. But My phone is out of reach. Yeah, <laughs> it, 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 yeah, yeah. Bala Power is out on the reef somewhere. <laughs> somewhere yo, out yo. there. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo. No, too good, too good. So, Minjo, my brother, tell me the, the business. Yeah. What is the, the business that you're in? Uh, yeah. And where Minjo is at now and what's next? Yeah, so... Uh, we're in the business of um, providing and sharing culture uh, mm. to to the uh, uh, to the education system, the tourism uh, yeah. industry, uh, corporate and and uh, government um, sectors. Mm. Um, uh, it heavily was focused when we started around dance mm. about um, because. Dance was just a way that we could get uh, uh, multiple people in the same headspace, in the same frame of mind, and it was a way to carry and pass down culture. Yes. To to the team, the internal Minjil team, and then therefore to an outside uh, wider audience. Yes. So, so that's that's where it, 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 it first started as a as a, as a dance group because it, it was it's such a good vessel to to be able to share culture and teach at the same time. Yes. Um, and so th- that's how it started in, in, in Morobol. We, we, we set up a, a dance crew and, and got some of the young people there. And and from there, you know, people started to get us at gigs and, and, and ask us, oh, do, do you do other things as well? Can I was wondering, what, so what was do? the point of the yeah. change? Where, where was that when you realized yeah, it's yeah, more than this? Yeah, there was... There was, there was I think it's because we were, we were out there that then we started to attract interest and, and questions, mm. um, and and then somebody asked me, oh, oh you know, do you, you do welcome to countries, and and uh, I said, e- even though I uh, uh, don't, <laughs> I said yes, I, I said yes, story. yes, I do welcome to country. <laughs> Why is that? That's what you gotta do, right? <laughs> you know, yeah, and 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 the person, said, oh well, next week, uh, w- you know, we would like you to come and do a welcome to country, and I'll, oh wow, what have I done? I've, <laughs> I, I, I've lied to this person and said that I've done uh, welcome to country before, yeah. but I've only seen it done, right? So, so, but it's about context, you know. It's about context. I was yeah. around it. It's yeah, okay. I was around it. It's okay. But look, I, I tell you now, that was probably the best thing to say because mm. um, uh, although I didn't know it at the time, uh, that's what we grew into. We mm. grew into uh, providing services um, you know, for the Welcome to Country uh, arena. And, um, and, and so that's, that, that, that's our niche at the moment. We're specialists in the game in Kent's at the moment uh, mm. is providing these uh, these uh, these uh, connections to country I like to say um, uh, and the future is is looking really really positive and, and really really good it's yes. uh, it's it's looking at stepping into the, the, the tourism industry mm. um, with our great partners, the Hilton and the yep. Entrada Travel, a, a New Zealand-based company that have, just, uh, you know, um, um, step uh, step foot in, um, in into Cairns. Um, yes, and so we're providing uh, services uh, in partnership uh, for those uh, uh, two business businesses, and uh, uh, it for me it's it's. It's just such a great outcome and a great opportunity. Uh, I mean, it, it inevitably, Cairns, you know, if, if you're going to get into to work and, 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 and see how business runs in Cairns, it's, it's a massive uh, focus on tourism, you know, mm. all, all, all throughout the far north. So it was just a natural progression yes. from providing, you know, cultural um, entertainment and education to then joining in on, on, onto the, the, the tourism platform and tourism industry. 
So, uh, you know, a wonderful lady at the Hilton, uh, Christy Williams. Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, yes, she, yep. she uh, we, we had a conversation, uh, you know, uh, about a year ago. And, and after that, not much happened. But then she got back to me. Yes. And then, and then and, and everything was just a snowball effect of, of, of how we could uh, inject uh, value into the, the, the Hilton uh, chain through cultural activity and, and, and connecting people and uh, audiences and visitors that, that come to Cairns from all over the world with culture and, yes. and, and, and through culture. And, and that just, that just uh, and it's just grew and, and, and it's still still growing uh, within Trada and uh, uh, Genevieve, a wonderful person too as well. Yes. Um, yeah. She's Egyptian, but she and she she lives over in the, in, in the New Zealand. Um, so from being there, from from uh, from from having that bloodline and, and, and living over in New Zealand. Uh, I think it was very important and educational for her because she's she understands how to deal with uh, indigenous people because yeah. the Maori and, and New Zealand uh, very staunch culture a, there as well. Uh, yeah, and and, and there's yeah. a wonderful connection. Yes, uh, absolutely. You know, from from the roots all the way up to government with um, with indigenous uh, people. From what I can see, yes. Anyway, just just like Canada does, you know. And, yes. And so, um, for me, it was a no-brainer. Uh, wonderful people, wonderful uh, company, and so our next step is 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 is, is uh, taking people uh, on board a vessel up and down and out to to the reef, uh, up and down the inlet, and out to the yeah. reef. So, so that's that's our next step that uh, we formed a partnership good. in. And, and, steady, uh, steady, exciting, you know, really exciting, really exciting. Yes. That's good. I mean, steady, steady, chip away, and growing up that just from simply saying yes, I do. You know, I do do this service like. Everybody yeah. that I know, uh, even myself, has never said no to an opportunity. Yes. We we'll think about it, we we'll look at it, even if we mm. don't know, we'll direct to somewhere. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I think that's the difference. I, I think that's a key strength of an entrepreneur or someone who's in business. Mm -hmm. um, they'll find a way to get there uh, mm -hmm. or provide that experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, I did that in the tourism industry as well. Like, we do the only um, cultural experience up in the tourist Straits. Uh, yes. And it's because that brother Joey, you know, like we travel the world with our music performance and we yes. fit into that market. The tour, mm. That's how we package it, so the tourism market. Wow. We went home yeah. and just said, man, mm. nobody is doing this. And the tourism companies come and ask us, uh, can you provide cultural mm. experience? Mm. Well, we, that's what we do. Mm. So we did the same thing, package it, add value mm. to the other companies. Mm. And now it's just operating and growing. Now yes. we're starting to you know, invest back into community, which wow. is what is it about. Wow. It's yes. all about reinvesting in the knowledge, education, yeah. the culture. I grow more opportunities, mm -hmm. planting mm -hmm. the seeds, watering it, watching it grow. Yes, yes. yes. But in in um, oh, I will move this one along. Your sorry, brother, because I can keep you and we can yarn all day. This yeah, is very exciting, and we all when we get yeah. lost in this subject, we go for hours. Yeah. Um, yeah. the two things before I will touch off the last topic. Short. One, I'm not sure if you can share, but you told mm -hmm. me about the next big move in some um, you know, buildings you guys are moving into and being able to provide a different um, service of growth, like yeah. a hub type of growth. Y yeah, yeah, okay. So so it's always been my dream to have some sort of establishment or building. It just adds oomph and, and vibrance and motivation to the community that you're in. And, yes. and it, it's good to, it, it's, a, it's a nice growing point to, to see where, you, where one, is, one is at. Mm. Um, to to have a you, you know a, a shop to walk into or some sort of a building that represents who you are and and what you deliver and and for people to uh, walk through a door and, and and engage is is very important so um I can't talk too much about it. Okay, okay. But but uh, will you have to come back when you can? But, but we, we so yes, I, I will come <laughs> so back when I can. Yeah, yeah so yeah, we yeah, will yeah. keep a whole segment for that. Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Please, please, please. Yeah. Please, please, well, please, we don't please. have to go now that way. But um, the, the well, let's yeah. that go off that one. I'll keep that yeah. one for another day. Yes. Um, the the next day was um, you know, doing the stuff here now. What we're doing with this um, you know, program Power Circle, we've mm. understood that 
uh, through the the impacts of COVID nineteen and everything yeah. that's happening with the global pandemic, that wow, yeah. we have to move into a new space of communication. Yes, you know, yes. Our background: yes. we started out as a record label, moved mm-hmm. into an entertainment company, mm-hmm. moved into film production, moved yeah. into a media company, went back into an entertainment wow, company. Yeah. Now yeah. we're back into media, so that's yeah. how we do it. This is we just um, could be the pivots, right? Yes, um, yes. But the journey, as I see back from from mine from back in ninety nine, was always mm-hmm. in media. Uh, yeah. So now we understood the power of what this platform can do, and with the accessibility of technology, mm-hmm. um, how we can get our stories out there unfiltered, uncensored, uncontrolled, yeah. our way for our people, by our people. Yeah. And that's the yeah. focus of what we're mm-hmm. doing here at Power Circle. Yeah. I've seen you started to get onto that active space as well, you know, moving into social mm-hmm. media. And you, are you heading into that space? Uh, look, just gradually. Just, just gradually, because it is, it, it, it is another arm. It does, it, mm-hmm. it is, it is another way to be out there, and it, it, it is a way to be accessible, to as well. So, um, you know, with the Cairns uh, Historical Museum, we've we've um, we've come up with a package that that uh, goes into the schools around uh, Gimwe, around Cairns, mm. and um, and and introduces them. To, to the local culture, language, and, mm. and, 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 and things like that. Um, and that is, 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 and that is, 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 is heavily uh, provided with, the, you know, the tools um, of, of technology, using technology, using digital media. Yeah. Um, so just things, you know, like uh, educational uh, videos. Yes. Um, uh, is uh, and so that's where we're at at the moment, and and, and learning to utilize that. Me myself, I'm um, I'm not that tech savvy, so I didn't really think about it. <laughs> but <laughs> there is enough people out there mm-hmm. that do have those wonderful skills, and are looking for a team, uh, and 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 a concept and, and a vision to be a part of. Um, so. It's, it's, I think it's, it's one of the um, valuable uh, ways of, of growing and, and, yes. and, and, um, and, and becoming, um, you know, uh, reachable to, to a wide audience or wide market um, if, if one does have a business or you are a business, um, you know, you, you yourself. Um, uh, so, and, and the process is fun. The process is so much fun, <laughs> yes. you know, and, and 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 getting out there on location is and, and shooting and it's, it's just a pro. Oh, you've done this, yes, uh, you know, yes. time and time again. Uh, I'm just I'm just learning to know. No, about this is but this and, is for them and, out there. Like, yeah. like this is why it's great to hear your your yeah. experience and uh, yeah. share with value to oh, it's so much whoever's fun, following. Yeah. yeah, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. It it it's um, it's and it's just it's just a, another part to. Who one is, I think, because uh, yeah, you know, to, you know, it was to, there was um one aspect when I started out with the music we were doing touring, yeah. and I remember mm. the producer and the brother that was working with me at the time, Mike Justice, yep. shout out to Mike Justice, mm. um mm. was heavily trying to push me to social media. Yep. I was so resistant. I'm like, I don't want to do this dumb thing. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, want yeah. Why am I yeah. gonna walk Why? around here with my phone yeah. and take photos? And, yeah. Like, if people want to come see me, come see me at the show. Mm-hmm. Anyway, mm-hmm. we did that, and um, over the first tour of the um, release of Island Home, the single. Yes, yes. I didn't understand the power of um, taking somebody from community on journey with you. Mm. Like they, most people are invested in the backstory, not what you present. Yes. And it yeah. was, I'm like, wow, really? And then mm-hmm. I got into it, and I figured out that. Even I'm interested in that, so I watch people's backstories. <laughs> like, okay, yeah. it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is, yeah. it is the journey where we're going. But mm. Danny, brother, man, uh, yeah. for sharing the story. Um, yeah, thank you. If anybody wants to, you know, get in touch with Minjo as a service from here, if they're coming to Cairns, mm-hmm. um, even just to connect with you and, you know, so they can be more enriched in knowledge and culture, mm-hmm. uh, or some young people want to come and, you know, be a part of your journey, um, yeah. you know, as a part of the team, or just be around, you know, the motivating, motivating things that, that you do, you are doing on your journey. Mm-hmm. How can they get in contact with you, Bala? Uh, I, I suppose the easiest way is is uh, just uh, minjil dot com or www dot uh, dot com. Yeah. Um, and and everything is up there from our Insta to Twitter and and uh, phone number and, and things like that. So. 
deadly. So, yeah, please do if if you're out there and and, and, yeah. and um, you know, because it's 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 very important uh, for yes. us, you know, to to grow as, as a business and um, and it's just um, it's just a great way of of learning and, and and growing. I think our next generation needs to be introduced mm. to the business world at an earlier stage in life. I absolutely um, agree. You know, um, don't be like me and wait till you thirty something to try and start a business. You know, be uh, like be like Bala <laughs> Patti and and start something when you you're eleven or twelve. Yeah, but that's I think that's where it starts. You well, know, and the earlier that that you can start building absolutely that that mindset is 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 very important. You know, and and, and when I see kids selling mangoes on the side of the oh, road right. in mango season now. I see some of our indigenous kids, they got a box of mangoes, they're selling mangoes for $2. Well, well I'll go there and buy the whole box well, of that's, them. That's and I'll, I'll tell them, like, you're doing a great job. You know, like, Absolutely, this, this man. is I, excellent. Yeah. I support that when young kids go, that's healthy. I used to sell salty plums and lollies at school. I know, I know, I know. It's, it's so such... Mangoes is a better alternative, but yeah. you're true. I mean, starting that type of... Um, Instilling that type of value of good work, work ethic at a yeah. young age is... I, my yeah. first job, I remember when I was seven years old, stacking mm-hmm. shelves. Mm-hmm. You know, it was more like fifty cent, dollar fifty, I think it was for the week, but you would just go down and do that. And yeah. it, it yeah. gives you some sort of foundation yeah. where you've got ownership of the things that you, you, know, you earned this. Exactly, exactly, yeah. To, to understand how business runs and just a simple, uh, you know, if you, you 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 if you got money coming in, yeah. and you're spending money, and how that works, just a simple business. If you if you're making more money than you're spending, well then, uh, yes. if, your your business is positive, and and how to grow that, and mm. um, and there's not a lot in 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 that that we learn in school. No. About that, isn't it? You know, no. some, some some of the people that we we, we talk about, they, they actually touch on these subjects. Is and and I was thought about it, <laughs> and I thought, wow, that's that's so right. Man, Everybody. Of what I learned in school, I can't remember. <laughs> and, and the whole system is designed for us to be basically robots, right? For, yeah. For the conglomerates, uh, for the big big this is our this is just our view our, our perspective our points of view so if anybody has a different perspective oh yes of course everyone's yes, entitled yes. to their opinion yeah 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 yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes of course of course of course i think i think business is uh should be taught as a as a religion so <laughs> pretty much i mean <laughs> micro businesses we've been trade trades people from yeah. long before there was a, a mm. corporate structure i yeah. mean that's what it was always trading Trade rules. Yeah. That's why we have them songs and dance. And, yes. Um, yes. Th- even just trading with your neighbor. It's that's mm-hmm. all. It is. It's a barter system. Yes. Uh, it's yes. value for value. That's all it mm-hmm. is. And we've mm-hmm. lived, survived as that. Yeah. As um, mm-hmm. I have this conversation with young people, I say, look, dude, when I show you the context culturally in business, mm-hmm. if you are a hunter or a gatherer, mm-hmm. you will build your team. That's all the people you hunt with. You will go yeah. out and get the catch. Mm-hmm. When you come out, you will divide the catch amongst the team, but also feed the community. Yes. That's the concept of business. Yes. And that's the yes. true essence. We always have done yeah. that in life. Yeah. Um, and you're right. My, I think the next wave is micro businesses and entrepreneurship, mm-hmm. and, but also economic empowerment for oneself is giving them a freedom of self. Yeah. You know, yeah. to be able to know that you create your own value. Yes. Is where it's just it's like identity as well. I put them both yeah. in the same boat. That's why we've um, been doing this for many years. Um, um, my my balapa. I I'd love to see. Cairns like be a hub of 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 of, of black wealth of of, 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 mm. of of black owned businesses and and that's what I back a, a lot you know I, um, Sash Kai Kai oh, uh, yeah you know we we eat there you know th- three or four times a this a week amazing. because because we, I just love supporting black owned businesses you know yeah and, and good it, it feels good, good. it's um yeah yeah, yeah it, it it and it feels good it feels like we're adding to to our indigenous community and empowering uh, mm. not only that business but uh, but but our, our, our children's future. Yes. Uh, and, 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 and and me too, because because um, no, nowhere else you can't get uh, uh, you can't get blood from McDonald. Oh, you know, oh, so am I allowed to say that? Am I allowed? <laughs> oh, uh, yes, so you, we call it up. You can't blood. get uh, you know, <laughs> blood and, and, and similar chicken from Dinner other Guam. establishments. Dinner Guam is the the proper Blue. name of that same dish. 
Right. Yo, yo. Guam, yeah. So it's um, influenced by um, the Philippines and Southeast Asia. Yeah, beautiful. It, it across the, across yeah. the culture. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, lovely. And lovely. I think um, yeah. the similar thing in uh, the European culture is called black pudding. Yes, 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 so, yes, yes. But yes, ours is yes. cooked. <laughs> yes, yeah. Ah, oh, lovely. Look, lovely, lovely. So, so shout out to Sash Kai Kai for the, from the, from the lovely... Uh, lovely food that, that, Absolutely. Uh, that they serve to people. It's, it's, we have it's, to dedicate a whole segment just to talk about that, the micro-businesses, and maybe yeah. we should work on something to build that hub facility yeah, here in the community. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. We'll talk after this. Definitely, <laughs> definitely, definitely. We've got to keep the... Right, brother, I could keep going. you all day for young, but we're going to uh, wrap it up. But before we do, um, and this is going to be the first time we put it because it's the first show, um, and I, I'm honored and thank you very much, you know, for you. Um, you're welcoming you. the program here, yeah, but also gracing us um, mm -hmm. here at the, in the, in that city at the Black Table to be able to talk um, uh, about Power Circle or talk with, with us about everything that you're doing, celebrating you uh, and, you. you know, excited for the journey that you're on. But before you leave, my brother, I always like to, I, I would want to say, can you leave one key value? Um, mm -hmm. I know we've got plenty, like a lot that we can go from, but one key value which you can leave a gem for all those who probably will be listen to, listening to this or following us, uh, that they can take and instill in their lives moving forward. Okay, this is one thing that, that, that it, it, it's, it doesn't come from me, but I, I've learned this along the way, that the spirit is and the power is w within you. It's, it's within us. A lot of the times I've been on the journey and I've always looked for motivation and or or, 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 or or validation somewhere else and just could not find it. But then when I looked with inside myself, I found the motivation, I found the energy, I found the spirit, I found the validation that 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 that, that just that just keeps on growing. So so I think for the next generation and and, and, the, and the people that want to get into whatever you know that um, one wants to get into is look with inside yourself because that's where it is. There you have it. Big S way, Balam. Yo. Thank you very much yo. for coming on, thank you, and we're gonna have you yo. back here definitely. Yeah, yo, yo, yo. About some more. Thank some you. More of, oh, it's a pleasure. Uh, yeah. First at the at the black table. First that's, at the black table. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, I can tick that off now. You can tick that yeah, off. Yeah, sweet, sweet. All sweet. right. Thank you. Well. There you have it, guys. Joining me at the Black Table, Balaka Four Mile, for the first episode ever. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I am Mao Power, your host. And as we say here at Power Circle, stay inspired, stay empowered, and stay connected. That's all.